My name is Lindsay Johnson, and this is Finlandia Fridays. Hello, and welcome to Finlandia Fridays. I'm your host, Devin O'Neill. And I'm Olivia Myers. Today, we're talking with Lindsay Johnson. She is a senior studying business and entrepreneurship uh, here at Finlandia. Lindsay, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. So, Lindsay, first off, you've actually been on the show before because we were previewing your amazing summer that you had planned that was just full of finishness. Mm-hmm. And so now you're back so we can talk about the summer <laughs> yes. and how amazing it was. So um, you had an internship with alumnus Marco Luomo mm-hmm. um, and his Finnish company, Export, which actually occurred here in Hancock, Michigan, you were working out of the Finn Zone in the Judula Center. And you also had your study abroad trip to Finland through the Hagahelia um, study abroad opportunity. So let's talk about your internship with Marco, since that was what you actually did first, and what that experience was like for you. Um, well, that was a really, it was a really cool experience. We um, did a lot of market research for, so there's six companies in Finland that are looking to come um, into the American market. So I did a lot of market research for them. Um, and then I contacted businesses around here to see if anybody wants to go to the European, start exporting the European market. So it was, it was a really cool experience. I got to um, get a lot of experience in different areas like, well, like cold calling, which nobody likes that, but it was pretty cool. Um, and a lot of research um, in many different areas, which was... Did you have to work later hours to sync up with the time in Finland at all? Uh, no, no. Um, he would, Marco would come, um, earlier in the day. So he, he would get like two hours with his, um, coworkers in Finland. Okay. Very cool. So what was that like working with a Finlandia alum and also someone who was from Finland? It was really cool. He was, um, he gave me a lot of, a lot of advice for like, um, when I go to Finland actually, or like he would uh, tell me like different, um, like how their culture does things compared to how, how we do. So like, I don't have such a culture shock. So that was really I'm cool. sure that was really helpful whenever you yeah. actually got there. Um, so how do you think that this internship maybe helped prepare you for your future plans or showed you what you like or didn't like about the business realm? Um, well, it showed me I didn't really want to, I don't want to be a researcher. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you learned, you learned it, you know, you learned yeah. it. Yeah, but I mean, I do like, I do like, um, like talking to different businesses and like seeing how different people do different things and like um, even how like different countries do different things because like Finland compared to here, we think it's so similar, but really it's, it's very different. Like their, um, yeah, the business world. But um, so it was really cool to learn that. Um, so then well, moving into, you then got to study abroad in Finland. Yeah, yeah. Um, specific, you lived in Helsinki. Mm-hmm. So what was that like? Because you, you started to talk about it. So just elaborate on, you know, that fact of what was life like in Finland compared to here? It was um, a lot of fun. I mean, there was, there's like... I, you know, I was in Helsinki, so it's the capital, and I, you would think it's a big city, but it doesn't, I mean, it is a big city, but it doesn't really feel like it, because, like, everybody, it's, like, really safe. I don't know, I, I didn't, I, like, would w- go around walking out, like, by myself, and I never felt scared to just, like, go wander, like, by myself in, like, downtown Helsinki. Um, but, yeah, the culture, I mean, it, like, the people, um, there's... There's some people that are like really outgoing, which is very rare. Mm-hmm. And there's like a lot, a lot of the Finnish people are very just like, like I don't know how to explain. They're very just reserved. Very, yeah, very Finnish. Right. Yeah. yeah. And you were able to do this actually free of charge. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I had to pay for my flight and food and sure. stuff. But yeah, yeah, the living in the um, school was free. So let's talk about the classes that you took. Um, you had a class on service, sales, and entrepreneurship. What was that like being in a different country's classroom setting? Um, it was cool to um, see how we do things compared to how they do it. I mean, it was like a lot of, um, we did a lot of presentations. Uh, I mean, we we actually had students from all, all over the world. I think there was like 11 different countries that we had um, students from. So I, so I didn't, um, didn't have any Finnish people in my classes, just uh, Finnish teachers. But um, it was interesting to see all the different, like all the different um, countries, how, like how they do things, which I learned a lot from. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And then, you know, outside of the classroom, you were able also to travel around the country. Yeah. What was that like? It was a lot of fun. We went to, uh, for the first weekend, our class went to Tallinn, Estonia. So we did a, a little um, 
a scavenger hunt type thing where we had like we had a little uh, iPad. We'd walk around the city, Old Town Talon, um, and then I went up to Olu to see some friends up there, and um, then from there we drove to Sweden, and that was yeah. It's kind of funny that their buildings are very um, very unique. I mean, very like all the buildings are red. I feel like uh-huh. <laughs> red, <laughs> yeah, yeah, red. But but the the um, vegetation wise, it was pretty much the same. I feel like yeah. fascinating. So. You know, people talk a lot about experiential learning and the value of study abroad mm-hmm. for students. How do you think that taking this trip to Finland, which, I mean, your ancestry is Finnish, so I'm sure that was very cool to be able mm-hmm. to connect with that. How do you think that this trip helped enhance your educational experience here at Finlandia? I feel like it made me open up my eyes to see how like other countries view America and how we view other countries. Like, Belgium, like for example, Belgium, it's a very small country, and I would never really think of like I never think of it but um like but we had a lot of Belgium people so I like um got to learn a lot about their culture and I got to learn about a different like a lot of different cultures how um they do things so I think that that would really open up my eyes to see like how how, like because like um Helsinki they're very green like they're even like their straws like are all cardboard they're um I don't know. I, I feel like everything, like, like even in my apartment, um, all my garbage cans were separated for all the different, um, you know, cardboard, plastic, like it was like a bunch of different garbage cans. And um, it was really interesting to see how. It was like progressive yeah. thinking. Yeah. 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 Fascinating. All right, Lindsay. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. Don't forget this weekend, we have Finlandia homecoming events happening, including the women's volleyball game tonight at 8 p.m. as part of the Sisu Classic. We also have the homecoming parade tomorrow, uh, which starts at Quincy Green and will go to McAfee Field. That starts at 11.30 a.m. And if you do want to park your car at McAfee Field, we will have a shuttle running starting at 10.45 a.m. that can take you from the field to Quincy Green if you want to be part of that parade and not worry about your car. Um, And then we'll also have a pep rally and football game immediately after the parade. So be sure to come and check those out. Yeah, and make sure you learn more at, you can learn more at finlandia.edu slash homecoming for all your homecoming timelines and if you want to learn more about studying abroad at fin- or at finlandia you can visit finlandia.edu international so thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next friday <laughs>